Hi there, this is Rhoda Detour, and I'm going to show you how you can take your Word doc or your ODT doc and convert it into an EPUB or a MOBI, which then you could go transfer um, and upload up to Smashwords or uh, Kindle KDP. So these are my books that I've already done. This is the quick start guide for this, this program. But you can see it has Tower of Tears highlighted, my name, the formats that I've already done, and this is the metadata that I can show you how to input. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do add books because I created a test book for this blog video and hit the book. It's going to convert it and then we can change the metadata and we can also make a table of contents. Now doing the table of contents in here was the easiest thing I've ever seen compared to some of the other methods. So first we're going to do edit metadata and this is where you can upload a cover. Now I don't have a cover ready so I'm just going to use the Tower of Tears cover just to show you. And you have to put the title and then the title sort so if you had like the guardian it would be guardian comma the and then here we're going to put road a detour which is my pen name and then we're going to put it in the reverse so detour rota okay and then down here are the tags so you can put anything you want um usually like if you see mine I have crime suspense murder mystery these are all the different tags that I've used on my other books so they're already saved in here but we'll just put self-publishing um, just as an example then you hit comma blogging okay then you hit OK down here and now you'll see test book and that's the title that we want but it's not converted yet if you look the only format that's available is my ODT which is my open office file so we're gonna go up here to convert books and this is so easy to make a table of contents click on that and right here this is the only thing all these different things are so confusing and it took me forever to figure this out the only thing you have to worry about is this level one because in the styles and formatting options of my open office, which you can also do with Word, I use heading one for the chapter headings. So if you hit the drop down box and then click on this H to H1, that's going to create the headings as your chapter headings for your, um, your table of contents. Up here, it's going to give you the output that you want to convert it to like you can do a zip file you can do a PDF you know so these are all your choices but usually I usually do EPUBs and MOBIs because that's what everybody wants I can actually upload this MOBI directly to um, to Kindle so then we hit OK and it's gonna go through the process and right here it's telling you how many jobs are in effect and uh, I haven't figured out a way where I can do more than one at a time, but it doesn't really take that long anyway, you're going to see. So what I usually do is after I do one, then I can go back and I do the other. So I always have, I'll have ODT, Mobi, and EPUB. Now this program has a, a um, viewer, so once it's finished, like here it says, now it says Mobi and ODT. Once it's finished, we can go and view this book. So make sure you're clicked on that the correct book. And it's going to open up and give us a, a sample of what it looks like. Maybe. Come on, Rhoda. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can see that this is the book. You can hit the sliders. And you're going to see that the chapter headings, because I used, um, I used the chapter headings and I used the be break before, that's how it came out. Now, because this was just a test, I didn't actually use the styles and formatting to make the, um, 
the indent but I show you that on another video and if you hit here it's going to show you the table of contents so the table of contents I for this test book I only had prologue in chapter one and chapter two but on my other books I have like 70 chapters and then I have my back matter so I'll have like another uh, 22 chapters I have of additional books at the back and then I have the links and I have all my social media so this is like such an easy way to um, to convert the books and I'm gonna be honest with you I have not had a problem doing it this way I actually had a a compliment on one of my reviews saying that my Mobi file looked really good on Kindle and the person was impressed because I use I always use the clean lines like see now that's centered but if you look it just looks more professional to have the justified open up your books at home and you know you don't see books at home paperbacks that are not justified uh, I'm still looking for one because somebody insisted that they are, but they're not. They're they're almost all justified because it looks clean and it looks professional. So once I um, convert this, then I take the Mobi file and I upload it to the KDP. When it comes to the EPUBs, you then need to validate the EPUBs to run it through this uh, verification uh, program. And it'll actually tell you, yes, this is successful or it's been verified or something like that. And in another video, I'll go and show you how to do that.